Hello everyone, my name is Justice. I'm coming at you with another collective video. I do hope that you find this video helpful and that it resonates. I do always take it as it resonates and leave the rest. This video is for all 12 star signs and I will be channeling messages from all of the stars, all of the asteroids, all of the deities, as well as any other unknown seen forces that would like to come and deliver a message to you today. We have here the one who stayed behind in reverse. The three of crowns. And the two of wands. To the porter of wands in reverse. The ace of crowns. Hmm. So there are two fire sign males looking for you at this time, and one of them went missing. Uh, <clears throat> there could be like an investigation going on about this. That's one thing I'm picking up on. We do have here encouragement. Winter solstice bear, hibernation. and boundaries with I am entitled to say no. So this is kind of like encouragement from the spirit to maybe protect yourself from these two energies you find, these two fire sign males. On the card it says, change me divine beloved into one who easily sets boundaries wherever needed. May I feel entitled to say no to any situation that feels bad or wrong. Fill me with divine confidence, speak through me. So definitely some like throat chakra activation energy as well as like crown chakra could be something you've been working on recently and the alchemy has been working out something i'm picking up I have here the five of cups so any doubt you've been going through about maybe like an empress falling uh like any heavy emotions you've been feeling with the Ten of Wands coming out here. You've definitely been overburdened, especially if you are someone who does spell work, uh, or just knows how to like protect themselves with metaphysical boundaries. You've been overburdened, and Spirit has been watching this with uh, Temperance coming out, the Fairy Dreamer. Have the Eight of Crowns to the Lord of Platters. Lady of Crowns in reverse. So your feminine divine, so take it as it resonates, because we do have the hanged man coming out. This is like a lot of like unknowing energy you have. So there's like a lack of like a grounded physical feminine energy, but there is a present masculine energy that is extremely grounded in your reality at this time. And I'm picking up this feminine energy is kind of taking itself off of course. It is going to balance out, maybe through like friendship. Something about you revisiting like a very nine of cups in reverse, very unfruitful friendship. Strawberries can be significant to somebody as well as like Huckleberry and Finn. Uh, you might also say, like, bad juju a lot. You could also, like, Charmander by Amine. Have here the Eight of Crowns to the Nine of Cups. So you could have had eight nights in a row where you had a dream of your person. That's like a lot of nights. That's a lot of visiting. Or your person has visited you with their ancestral team like three to nine nights in a row recently as well. Uh, during the daytime, you feel like a lot of balance in your life. You feel like things are like smoothing out. You feel like a good transmit of energy from the sun. Do you have here 12, slow and steady? So there's just like a inner call to retreat with magical shapeshifter coming out here at number 52. Uh, do remember that your dreams are like 
active portals to other dimensions and you are doing like significant things like manifesting money, love, career, uh, home as you're asleep with storytelling connections coming out here. Uh, you know, the way I became a powerful manifester was telling my dreams to everyone I met, especially those that included people in my reality, and making sure that I withhold my part of the contract when it comes to intellect with wind change coming out here. You know, swords and air and intellect are all about communication. And uh, you're kind of having this breakthrough energy. You could be like me. You could be a Narragansett Indian with this yellow, white, and blue. If not, the Narragansett ancestors are now praying over you at this time. Uh, yes. We also have here medicine rights, accomplishment sage stick so someone could be saging you could have like uh with elder wisdom you could have just like it's very heavy on sage sage came out twice as well as feathers and like blades uh you're a witcher or so you have like a witch and very close in your energy fields with eagle feather coming out here uh you also do have your playfulness as well as vivid dreaming of divine assistance. I am open to receive and worthy. I know my own worth. So you're remembering like your story of becoming a divine feminine. You're remembering like uh, the first time you really became in contact with your ancestry here with education coming out. Yeah, you're, you're just like reminding yourself commitment that you decided to take on a higher path and spirits uh, you know, saying it's proud of you for withholding your part of the soul contracts with the Lady of Crowns coming out. That's someone who's like, uh, you know, you hear the angel, devil, and uh, God all at once. And the sun. That's what this card represents, hearing all these people clear audiently. Especially the sun. You and the sun get along a lot with the Three of Wands. And you and these fire sign men... The fortune, the fortuner's rule in reverse, just simply have bad karma. Uh, will this balance out? We have the high priestess in reverse to the seven of pentacles in reverse to the nine of pentacles upright. Uh, with patience and more boundaries. Uh, definitely like changing your mindset to take yourself out of isolation too. Someone's been working way too much. It's like your grind mindset is kind of like, uh, I don't know. You're like out hustling yourself or something. The fairy king coming out here. You are coming up as someone who is able to support themselves. You could just be doing a little too much at the current moment. Because you do have your spark. So you have like this extra little energy. You could be a little bit burnt out. But if you take your time, uh, the fairy wise man coming out here. You're just going to get to like this Buddha enlightened state with the Lady of Platters coming out. Yeah. There's heavy back and forth between the masculine and feminine energies. There's just like a lot of balance in your life. And it's weird because people do do like uh, weird little like moon work and stuff like that or like voodoo on you. But it just simply doesn't affect you because of your relationship with the sun. The Ten of Cups in reverse. This is these people to the Two of Cups in reverse. They, to the cunning man, someone in your family, in your ancestral family, knows, like, a specific generational curse. And it has to do with, like, marriages. And these people have cursed themselves to never have a fulfilling marriage ever again. It's kind of platters here. And all had to do with you having all this money, all this financial stability that is written in your Akashic records. And, uh... Yeah, you know, anyone who's spied on your records, they're currently being punished for it. The Akashic Lords of the Records, just like Shiva, all of these people do not mess around. They are very cunning. But yeah, the Hierophant to the Tower, to the Ten of Pentacles. Just believe this bastard, whoever this fire sign male is, the one who like you still could feel in your energy during the reading... 
like the one you like don't like cast away right away with the lovers coming out the one you might give a little bit of like a second chance uh just keep them out of your energy collective uh, i'm gonna leave this message off here i hope you guys enjoyed love and light to you peace